Now, David Cameron has told the man who ranks fifth in China's ruling Politburo today that he will offer any necessary assistance in the investigation into the suspected murder of the British businessman Neil Hayward, the wife of the former Communist Party boss in the city where Mr Hayward died, has been arrested in connection with his death. Reports today suggest her husband, Bo Zhilai, initially agreed to a police probe into the death before abruptly changing his mind. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilson, has this. It was ostensibly a meeting about cultural ties. But the Prime Minister also had to ask Li Chan-chun, number five in the Chinese Communist Party hierarchy, about the murdered British businessman Neil Haywood. He died in a Chongqing hotel last November, possibly of cyanide poisoning. It's been reported that the city's then leader, Bo Xilai, initially ordered his police chief, Wang Lijun, to investigate. But when Bo's wife was implicated, he sacked Wang. Now all three, Bo Xilai, his wife Gu Kailai and Wang Lijun, are under investigation by the party. Um, Today, the Foreign Secretary was eager to avoid accusations that the government had failed to press the Chinese about Mr Haywood until it became a scandal. We have demanded an investigation. Uh, the Chinese authorities have agreed to conduct such an investigation. Uh, there's been a further discussion about that this afternoon. Haywood's body was found in the Nanshan Lijing Holiday Hotel on November the 15th and cremated without autopsy. It's located in a quiet area, very suitable for carrying out a murder, as no one would notice. Bo Xilai's family were resented for their wealth and flamboyance. His son, Bo Guaguo, seen here on a Chinese talk show and receiving an award while at Oxford University. And for me, understanding is something of a great value because... Um, Bo Guaguo, who got his place at Harrow School thanks to Neil Haywood, is a student at Harvard, but he hasn't been seen for several days now. The party may now re-investigate a pyramid selling scheme in the northern town of Liaoning, in which retired factory workers raised ants to make health products. Bo Xilai endorsed the scheme, which collapsed, leaving a million small-scale investors penniless the head of the company was executed. Bo Xilai had hoped to get one of nine places on the Communist Party Politburo Standing Committee in this autumn's leadership change. No longer. His political enemies are happy to see him disgraced and his allies weakened. The government says Bo will face the law, but in China, judges are party functionaries. Uh, the Haywood case has entered the judicial process and China is conducting an investigation. Investigation takes time. I believe China will handle the case based on law and release information in real time. Neil Haywood's Chinese widow Wang Lu isn't talking to journalists. His car with its 007 license plate is still in the driveway of their Beijing home and his death is still a mystery. Lindsay Hilson reporting that.